Hi guys. This is pre-algebra lesson 2-6. Use properties of integer exponents. In this lesson, you are going to use the properties of exponents to write equivalent expressions. You will also understand the properties of exponents and generate equivalent expressions with exponents. Let's look at solve and discuss it properly. One man's streaming video concert to benefit a global charity costs $1 to view. The first day, the concert got 2,187 views. The second day, it got about three times as many views. On the third day, it got three times as many views as on the second day. If the trend continues, how much money will the band raise on day seven? Okay, so think about it we can create a chart for this problem. Look at the inf important information. For every view, it's $1. First day was 2,187 views. So let's write days and views, number of views. Okay, first day, 2187 view. Second day, three times as many views. So three times 2187 is equal to 6,561. 6, and third day, got three times again. So multiply 6,561 by three. 19,683. Fourth day. Times up by three again. If the trend continues like this, we got 59,049 on the fourth day, 177,147 on the fifth day, 531,000. 441 on the sixth day. And finally, 1,594,323 on the seventh day. Okay. So this is the table of values for this problem. So we have seven days shown in this table and you multiply three each day. You can add the products to get ultimately 2,390,391 uh, on raised in another week or uh, in one week total. Now, you add all the products, and because the charity costs $1 to view, every view equals $1 charity. So you add the products, and that is your dollar of charity in one week. So in total, this band would earn $2,390,391 in one week. All right, let's look at focus on math practices. The prime factorization to write an expression equivalent to the amount of money raised by the band on the last day of the week. You should use prime factorization to explain this, okay? Prime factorization means you will use prime numbers to factor out this big number. So what is the number that you are multiplying by three so what's the amount of money raised by the band on the last day of the week you can use three times three times three dot 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 multiplied seven times plus 2187 could also be used as um 
as a prime factorization, you could use three to multiply out to get 2,187. Okay, so look at your first number. 2,187 is also equivalent to three times three times three times three times three times three. Wait, two, four, six times three. Okay, if you multiply three seven times, you get 2,087. Three times three is nine, 27, 81, 243, 729, and then you get 2,187. Does that make sense? And so you can write 2,187 as three to the, how many power? Seven, okay? But you are also multiplying three over here, over here, over here, multiply three, multiply three, multiply three. And how many times? One, two, three, four, five, six times, right? So starting from 2,187, you multiply three, six times. Use prime factorization. How many threes in total are you multiplying? Three times three. So you already have seven threes, right? For 2,187. And then you multiply three, six more times to get the amount of money raised by the bank on the last day of the week. Not total, but the last day of the week. One, two, three, four, five, six more. So in total, how many threes are you multiplying? Three to the power of? 13. So that is called the prime factorization. Okay. Let's think about the essential question. How do properties of integer exponents help you write equivalent expressions? You will think about this throughout the lesson today. Example one, multiply exponential expression, same base. The weight of a juvenile alligator is shown on the, on the right. The adult alligator weighs about two to the power of six times more than the juvenile means baby alligator. How can you determine the weight of the adult alligator? Right? So you have the weight of the juvenile alligator, two to the power of three, right? And your adult will weigh two to the power of six times more, which means you need to multiply that by two to the six. So one way, you can write two expressions in expanded form. So two to the third power is two times two times two. Two to the sixth power, two times two times two times two times two times two, right? Six twos and three twos. You're gonna combine them and multiply all of them together, which is total of nine twos combined to multiply. And two is multiplied nine times. Um, yeah, that's one way. Another way, you're gonna use the product of powers. What is product of powers? The product of powers property says that when multiplying two powers with the same base, you can add the exponents. Do you see that? Two to the third power times two to the sixth power is really two to the ninth power. Do you see that? Which means you can add the powers together. Three plus six is equal to nine. Ta-da, that's called the product of powers property. Okay, so it, it says this is one way, that's another way. They're really the same thing. You just, you can think of it as nine total twos multiplied together. But if you know the property, you can do the shortcut. Let's try it. The local zoo welcomed a newborn African elephant that weighed three to the power of four kilograms. It is expected that 
at adulthood, the newborn elephant will weigh approximately three to the four times as much as its birth weight. What expression ex represents the expected adult weight of the newborn elephant? So you don't actually have to multiply everything out. Expression means you can write it as a power, right? What's the simplified expression? So again, you're gonna start with three to the fourth times three to the fourth. You have the same base, three. Um, you also have the same power, but that doesn't mean anything, okay? If you have the same base, you can add the powers. Four plus four, which means three to the eighth total. So you're multiplying three, eight times total. Convince me, explain why the product of powers property makes mathematical sense. Explain why. Why does it make sense? Do you know how to explain? Well, what does the property say? It says that when multiplying two powers with the same base, you can add the exponents, right? So can you give me an example using maybe base of three? Okay, let's first write down the property and give an example using the base three. Okay, first write the product of powers property. It says when multiplying two powers that have the same base, you can add the exponents. And you can give me an example of the try question. Three to the power of four times three to the power of four really means three times three times three times three. Four of threes multiply together. Three multiplied four times. And you multiply that with another three to the fourth power. So another three um, by four times, right? So together you're multiplying, okay? So your only operation you're using here is multiplication. So you can combine them. In total, you're multiplying three, eight times. All right, let's move on to example two. Multiply exponential expressions, different base. Find the volume of cubic inches of a cube with edge length of two feet, okay? Um, Volume is two to the third cubic feet because volume is equal to side cube, right? So one cubic foot is equal to 12 cube cubic inches. Does that make sense? Because one foot is equal, equivalent to 12 inches, if you have one cubic feet, you need to multiply 12 three times, okay? 12 to the third power, inches third power. If you put third power, then you need to put third power in all the, all the parts in your equation. That's the property of equation, right? So you're going to figure out in cubic inches. Uh, so two to the third power times 12 to the third power would be your volume in inches, okay? You can't just multiply two to the third power times 12 because that's a volume. It's not just one side, okay? Conversion is different for different dimensions. So let's multiply two to the third power times 12 to the third power. You multiply two times two times two, times 12 times 12 times 12. You have different bases. So you cannot combine the powers, but what can you do? You have two times 12 times two times 12 times two times 12. You can group them together and combine the bases together. Two times 12 is multiplied three times in total, right? So you can multiply two and 12, but you need to keep the power. 24 to the third power would be in cubic inches. That is called the power of products property. When multiplying two exponential expressions with the same exponent and different bases, you're going to multiply the bases and keep the exponents the same. Okay, example three, find the power of a power. 
What happens if you have a power on top of the power? Okay. If you have five square to the fourth power, for example, what does that mean? It means whatever is inside this parenthesis is multiplied four times. That is what your power means. So whatever your number is inside the parentheses, which is five square, which is also 25, you multiply that whole thing, including the power, four times. So you're multiplying five square times five square times five square times five square, four times, okay? And so you have the same base. And if you're multiplying it four times, it's really five times five, times five times five, right? Times five times five, times five times five. So total, how many fives are you multiplying? Eight. What is it really happening? You multiply the powers only when the power is on top of power. If you have two bases, two same bases with different powers or same powers, doesn't matter. If you have same bases, that's when you add the powers. If you have power on top of power and you have one expression, that's when you have power of powers property. You can find the power of a power by multiplying the exponent. Okay, there's a difference. Example four, divide exponential expressions with the same base. What if there's division happening? Okay, what happens to our powers? Let's look at this for, example, for an example, six to the power of five divided by six to the power of three, they have the same base. What is, what is really happening there? Six to the power of five divided by six to the power of three really means you multiply six five times on, on the numerator. You multiply six three times in the denominator. And you can cross out six over six because six over six is one. So cross out the six one by one, and what do you have left? Six to the second power. You multiply six to the second power, which is 36. So what's really happening to the power? Five minus three would be two. So if you have a division with the same base, it only works with the same base, then you are subtracting okay this is if this is division with the same base then you can subtract your powers and it becomes six to the power of two okay this is called a quotient of powers property it's that it states that when dividing two exponential expressions with the same base subtract the exponents okay they need to have the same base all right, so looking at examples two, three, and four, let's try these questions, A, B, C, and D. Write equivalent expressions using the properties of exponents. Okay, come back when you're ready. So look at part A. You have seven to the third power to the second power. What kind of property can you use? Which property can you use? The power of powers property. The power is on top of the power, right? This is called the power of powers property. What does it say? You can multiply the powers. And so seven to the power of three times two would be your answer, which is seven to the sixth power, okay? What about part B? This is also, which property? The power of powers property. So you can multiply the powers. Do not change your base. Your base is four, okay? Five times three is 15, okay? Part C, nine to the fourth power times eight to the fourth power. Do we have a property for this? Power of products property. What can you do? What can you do? What does this mean? Nine times nine times nine times nine. 
times eight times eight times eight times eight. You can do nine times eight times nine times eight times nine times eight times nine times eight. How many times? Four times. If they have the same power but different bases, you can use the power of products property. So what's nine times eight? 72. So nine times eight to the fourth power would be 72 to the fourth power. Okay, that's part C. Part D, a to the power of nine divided by a to the power of three. You have the same base, different powers, and it's division. Which property are we using? So quotient of powers property. A to the power of nine divided by a to the power of three means you can subtract your powers. Nine minus three is six. So yes. A to the six power. Do not change your base. The only time you're going to change the base is when you have power of products property and you have the same power. Okay. All right. Let's summarize our lesson. What did we learn today? We looked at the properties of integer exponents and we learned the properties, um, how to use the properties. Let's use the properties. You can use the properties when simplifying expressions with exponents. Exponents are powers, okay? So we got four properties. Product of powers property, power of products property. They sound similar, they're different, okay? Power of products is the one where you have different bases. All the other properties, you need to have the same base. Power of a power property, quotient of powers property. All right, that was lesson 2-6, using properties of integer exponents. All right, guys, I will see you in the next lesson. Bye.